from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for February 19th, 2015. In a moment, I'm going to be taking a look at the USD JPY, the US dollar versus the Japanese yen. But first, I want to recap a couple of the trades that we talked about over the past couple of days in the trade room and here in the morning videos. Uh, first off, yesterday's trade suggestion to buy the USD CAD, the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar, on dips into support. Unfortunately, it didn't quite make it down to my entry order. Uh, if you look over here, it's kind of hard to see on the left-hand side of the chart, but there was a buy limit just on top of this orange shaded area right around the 1.2365. We came very close uh, at FOMC yesterday. We saw the market spike all the way down here towards the 85 level uh, didn't get quite low enough to take me into my entry order and now has just turned right back higher again as it's now pushed all the way back up towards the mid 1.25s if you happen to get into it or you were into it from earlier then of course you're now sitting with a pretty decent amount of profit but the buy order that I had setting in there uh, did not get taken in Fortunately, uh, the GBP USD, the pound dollar, has been uh, pretty much the trade of the week so far this week. I've now closed that trade out with about 130 pips of profit. The buy was down here into 1.5345. 1.5345, the bottom of all these candle buys that you see down here, uh, taking that all the way up to the Fibonacci levels that we discussed in the trade room yesterday. I also put this wedge pattern that you see here on the chart in the trade room yesterday, and I noticed uh, yesterday at FOMC, just after it, taking a push into that top of that wedge and into the Fibonacci levels that you see there. So I went ahead and closed the trade as it challenged there into the 1.547980 level uh, for 130 pips of profit. Now it's come back down into support. We'll watch this pink shaded area today. Could become another opportunity to add back on into the pink zone, but even uh, another dip back down here to the yellow shaded area might be even better because that would be back down towards the bottom of the wedge pattern that you see there and into the bullish trend line at the bottom of that pattern. So we'll watch both of these areas for a potential opportunity uh, later today. Over here on the euro dollar again, uh, came very close just within a few pips of my sell limit. I've had this here all week long, uh, right into the 1455 level. You can see the top, the high of this candle from yesterday. Uh, let me see if I can get the pop up to come up here. The high of that candle, 1450. So it came within five pips of my entry order, uh, my uh, sell limit there into the blue shaded area, and then it came straight back down. So unfortunately, just missing me once once again here on my order for the euro. At least at this point, what I'll be looking for is either another rally back to the blue zone or a breakout of this zone, this range that we're developing here between the pink and the blue zone. Above the blue zone, of course, we'll go higher, but preferably in the direction of the longer term trend, we'll see it break out underneath the pink zone and continue to go lower in the direction of the trend. All right, let's move on over to the USD JPY, the US dollar versus the Japanese yen. Uh, we've been talking about the long-term uptrend here for quite a long time. If we zoom it out here to the weekly chart, again, there's the long-term uptrend. Not too hard to see there. It's been moving up since back in 2012. I think most interesting is this triangle pattern in the middle of the chart, the yellow shaded area that you see here in the middle. Very interesting is we have a similar scenario, not very, not exactly the same, but a very similar scenario where we're in the consolidation up here at the top right-hand side of the chart. Uh, if we see a change or a continuation of the long-term uptrend, we would look for a breakout above there and for a continuation higher. All that would change, of course, if it breaks below supports, and we'd then look for a change of the trending pattern to go lower. So very interesting, just looking at the two similar patterns. Let's take it on down to the daily chart. You can start to get a little bit of a, uh, a clue of what we've been looking at, the blue trend line on top showing the falling highs, uh, the two different red trend lines here, the shorter red trend lines showing us uh, rising lows down here closer to 116. Uh, uh, is the bottom red trend line and more importantly maybe is the shorter red trend line here showing the more predominant rising lows within the pattern. They're, they're stronger rising lows than they are falling highs here for the US yen. So it gives me a little bit of an upside uh, bias to my trading here for the yen, even within this consolidation that we're seeing right here. So I'm looking for opportunities to buy on dips into support still. Uh, all that would probably change if we see a breakdown of this red trend line, maybe a breakdown of the orange shaded area, which is down into the low 16, uh, 117s. Then we go back down 
towards the blue shaded area are ultimate lows within the pattern down into the 116 level. So uh, watching for that breakout lower, but I still will focus my bias right now on buying for the US yen. Let's zoom it in one more time. You can see, let's go actually go in two more times. Let's go one more time in there. Uh, look at the purple shaded area. That's really what I want you to see today. If you go along that purple uh, shaded zone, look at the support. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days now. We have found support between 118.40 and 118.68. That is our support. So for the day today, as long as it stays above there, I expect we're looking at support rallies back to the green shaded area as resistance and of course over the past few days we can see that at some point we will break out of this congestion this consolidation that we're seeing between the purple and the green shaded area I'm hoping that we see that breakout above the green shaded area 11940 and the continuation all the way back up to the top of the pattern in towards the 120 30 level 25 level the blue shaded area and the blue trend line at the top of the chart that of course changes if it breaks down underneath the purple zone we look for it to go down towards this orange shaded area down here. 117.67 is the top of that orange shaded area. Uh, that becomes our next area of support, and that's easy to see with the congestion that you see over here on the left-hand side of the chart. So purple zone, historical resistance and support. That's our support for the day today. Green zone, uh, more predominantly, is this resistance right here, uh, and we're looking for a breakout to go higher in the direction of the longer term trend. If you look here closely, uh, I am already in a buy from 118.70 on the dip lower into 118.70, took a buy. I am already at break even on that trade. I would just like to see the full breakout of the green zone and the continuation higher today. If it comes back to the purple zone, it'll be time to reevaluate that, see if there's enough momentum to break through the bottom side, if I want to get into it again or not. But at this point, I'm in a buy at 118.70. If you're not already in a buy, that becomes your opportunity to do so or like I said, a breakout above the green shaded area. If we open and close, and I think specifically on the daily chart, but if we open and close back under the purple shaded area, clearly the next area to watch would be the orange zone. If you're going to wait for the breakout of the congestion, the consolidation, before you make an entry, if you don't want to trade between the purple and green shaded area, you're now going to wait for an open and close, a clear single candle body breakout above the green zone to go higher or below the purple shaded area to go lower. Let's take it on down to the four hour chart. Let me zoom out one more time. And now you can see that same area between the green and the purple shaded area. Yesterday's market pushing down to the purple zone. If you remember from yesterday, I was in a sell from 119.04. 119.04 was the bottom of the green zone. We've been talking about that over the past couple of days in the trade room. I was in a sell. I had a 20 pip limit, uh, take profit limit on the trade. Uh, yesterday's move took me out at that 20 pip limit, so I made 20 pips on the fall down to the purple zone. Then once it settled down here into the 118.70 level, I went ahead and took the buy on the opposite side. So 20 pips made on the sell, and now we're in uh, in profit now on the buy side, looking for the breakout of our zone of congestion for the US yen today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.